Inquisitor. 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 Inquisitor, the workers are almost done building a lift to the deep roads. No dark spawn trouble yet, but the earthquakes have been brutal. I was told to meet a shape of Volta. She's waiting below. You won't see an Orzammar dwarf on the surface. They have rules about that. How many quakes have there been since you arrived? Uh, at least three big rumblers. And the aftershocks are nothing to sneeze at. My feet miss solid ground. Josephine's report mentioned several Lyrium mines were damaged by the quakes. You'll see what's left of this one on your way down. From what I hear, the other mines are barely holding together. So you haven't seen any dark spawn up here? I sharpened my arrows just in case, but they never showed. I'm okay with that. From your tone, I'd guess Orzammar isn't your favorite place. I don't have an opinion. Cloud gazers like me aren't allowed in the city. The lift's ready for you. Try not to shift around and keep back from the edge. It's a long way down. <laughs> This reminds me of a story. Shocking. It's about an impossibly handsome dwarf and his friend who got crowned King of the Nugs. A Nug King, really. It's not as good as it sounds. Nugs mostly just shit on the floor and roll in it. Welcome to the Deep Roads. Is it me, or is this the slowest lift ever constructed? It's better than climbing, down. I could do with some music. Something with a flute. Always wondered if I'd die down here. You're not dead yet. The day's just starting. Root. Margot. Norfolk. 
Your names will not be forgotten. You must be Shea Pavolta. A trust for law, Inquisitor. The Shaper it welcomes you to the Deep Roads. You look as though you're hiding from something. As a citizen of Orzammar, even a glimpse of your sky could cost me my position and render me castless. Gotta love real dwarves. What does a Shaper do exactly? We chronicle the life and times of our people. Your historians. Also scholars and genealogists. Shapers preserve knowledge in the memories, an archive in Orzammar. We record memories in Lyrium to ensure they never fade. We must be meticulous in every detail. My ambassador briefed me, but now I hear there are still more quakes? Each new tremor opens another fissure in the deep roads. Our situation has worsened since we contacted Skyhold. The quakes collapsed this mine and shattered a seal, keeping the darkspawn at bay. The Legion of the Dead hasn't been able to mend the broken seal, and we can't afford to lose any more lyrium. What will happen if we lose more lyrium mines? The surface needs lyrium for all sorts of magic. The Inquisition more than most, I understand. And Orzammar's economy relies on the lyrium trade. Without it, there will be chaos above and below. Orzammar deals with Darkspawn all the time. Why request the Inquisition's help? The Legion isn't prepared for this level of disaster. And the Grey Wardens haven't answered our calls for aid. Any threat to the flow of lyrium requires immediate response. The Inquisition is the only force we can rely upon. I've read about the Legion of the Dead. Dwarves who fight Darkspawn in service to Orzammar. They commit their lives to the cause and celebrate their own funerals before entering the Deep Roads. No matter their sins in life, the Legion die noble deaths. The Inquisition stands ready to aid Orzammar. Without a steady Lyrium supply, things on the surface will get even worse. Apologies for pushing you. I fear the damage that tremor caused. Follow me to the Legion camp. Roads are dangerous. An ogre! Stay clear of its reach!
the time to attack. out of the deep roads. I'm sure you would find a way. If the ogre reached this point, the legion must be overwhelmed. Let us hurry. They corrupt everything, even the air. That's the broken seal ahead. It is worse than I thought.
charges! Inquisitor, meet Lieutenant Wren, a veteran of the Fifth Flight and one of the Legion's finest commanders. <laughs> Someone paid her to say that. Appreciate the help, Inquisitor. Collapsing that seal bought us time. Blighters had the run of these tunnels for days. Now they have a roadblock. How many deep roads are there? How deep do they go? They'll take you from one side of Thetis to the other, if you have a death wish. The roads once connected dwarven cities that were hundreds of miles apart. Then came the Darkspawn. Ren and I have been exploring this region, reclaiming it, but the work is slow. Mark the map, fight an army. Mark the map, fall in a hole. And so on. I get the impression you two have known each other a while. Yeah. The Shaper had sent her to dig up some relics. Asked me to keep her out of trouble. That was three years ago. You can quit any time. Not when we still have things to fight about. The Legion of the Dead has the Inquisition's full support. That's the best news I've heard since the Quakes began. Actually, the only good news. Stronger, more insistent. I hear it. Doesn't prove a thing. These quakes are not a natural disaster. They're deliberate. There's an intelligence behind them. How could an earthquake be caused deliberately? We get plenty of natural tremors down here. These are different. She thinks she knows why. I found an ancient text during an expedition with Ren last year. At the time, it was just a curiosity, but now? The text describes giant creatures, called Titans, living deep underground. They sing in the stone, shaping it. When these quakes began, I believe we heard that rhythm. I believe a Titan is causing all this destruction. I've never heard of Titans before. What else can you tell me about them? The text I found predated the First Blight. Its pages had mostly rotted away. And there's no mention of the Titans in Orzammar's memories. Which tells you something. All I heard was an earthquake. How is it you and Ren hear a rhythm? Our people have a strong connection to the stone. We feel it in a way topsiders cannot. Shapers have great stone sense. And Vault is better than most. She never gets lost. You speak of the stone like it's more than walls. The stone is eternal. She was here before us, and remains after we die. 
But the stone isn't your god. We don't worship her, but we do respect and honor her. The stone makes us strong, and we return that strength to her when we die. It's difficult to express in words. Mysterious songs often lure people to their deaths, or to an archdemon. This rhythm isn't a song, exactly. It sounds like... air flowing through lungs. Hmm. Air that can collapse a whole mine. Dangerous, then. But a magic unique to the deep roads might be worth investigating. In my experience, no explanation is too strange to consider. For all we know, that text you found was a bedtime story. We can't be sure until we find the source. The rhythm I sense in the quakes is emanating from somewhere far below. The stone will lead us there. And if it comes to a fight, that'll be our job. There's a lift at the side passage nearby. Ready when you are. Skyhold, how does it... Well, a hold in the sky. <laughs> the old fall into the sky routine. How do you keep it from floating away? It's built into a mountain. Uh, held by the stone, then. Shaper Volta said you're a veteran of the Blight. <laughs> I was a wet-nosed recruit. But you survived. Swing your axe long enough. You're bound to hit something. You must have racked up a few stories. Maybe when this is all over, I'll have the time and ale to tell them. Most of Ren's stories end with decapitation. I'm an efficient guy. I'd like to know more about the Legion of the Dead. The Legion's pretty straightforward. We keep the Darkspawn out of Orzammar. And we're sodding good at it. Becoming a legionnaire is a lifelong oath, one that can't be broken. We celebrate our own funerals before coming to the Deep Roads. As far as our families in Orzammar are concerned, we're already dead. Hence the name. That's quite the commitment. It isn't a glamorous life. Every legionnaire has their own reasons for joining. From the common criminal to the Deep Lord with illusions of grandeur. Accepted. What about you? Why did you join? I had a responsibility. A historian and a soldier. That's an unlikely friendship. What makes you think we're friends? The bickering. <laughs> Fair enough. Vault has got the stones of a silent sister. Doesn't mean I won't give her a hard time. Thanks for your time. The Inquisition is on everyone's lips. Even the Assembly has taken an interest. In his younger years, King Haramont would have greeted you personally. But he is too old now for such a journey. How does one become a Shaper of Memories? I was born with a keen stone sense. It caught the Shaper its attention. But my passion for history earned me the title. It was never really a choice. You seem quite excited by the idea that these Titans may exist. My connection to the stone allows me to hear it, but I can only listen. Titans can sing through the stone. It is extraordinary. We call ourselves children of the stone. What does that make the Titans? What's life like in Orzammar? I haven't lived in Orzammar for three years, but I receive updates. Is there anything in particular you'd like to know? Do you miss living there? I do sometimes. 
particularly the easy access to a warm bath and clean clothes. But the importance of my work outweighs the comforts of the city. How's the political climate in Ozamar? There have been riots due to food shortages, but they will pass, I hope. I've no doubt some Deshers will try to use the situation for their own gain. But the King has a good hold over the Assembly. What are Deshers? Members of the Assembly, all noble-born. Through the Assembly, they govern Orzammar. The King presides over them. A Dwarf's caste seems to dictate their entire life in Orzammar. I could bore you for hours about our society's castes and the tensions that go along with them. Simply put, citizens of Orzammar are born into a caste, and that is their lot in life. A member of the Smith caste can never join the Warrior caste, and vice versa. Everything is predetermined. There's no way for someone to change castes. It is possible for a member of the lower caste to marry above their station. But only their children's caste will improve. Similarly, when dwarves are made casteless, so are their descendants. A dwarf's caste seems to dictate their entire life in Orzammar. I could bore you for hours about our society's castes and the tensions that go along with them. Simply put, citizens of Orzammar are born into a caste, and that is their lot in life. A member of the Smith caste can never join the warrior caste, and vice versa. Everything is predetermined. There's no way for someone to change castes. It is possible for a member of the lower caste to marry above their station. But only their children's caste will improve. Similarly, when dwarves are made casteless, so are their descendants. A dwarf's caste seems to dictate their entire life in Orzammar. I could bore you for hours about our society's castes and the tensions that go along with them. Simply put, citizens of Orzammar are born into a caste, and that is their lot in life. A member of the Smith caste can never join the warrior caste, and vice versa. Everything is predetermined. There's no way for someone to change castes. It is possible for a member of the lower caste to marry above their station. But only their children's caste will improve. Similarly, when dwarves are made casteless, so are their descendants. But that's enough about Ozmar. Of course. Thanks for the insight, Shaper. My pleasure, Inquisitor. We'll speak another time. Don't run into an emissary. Oh, now we definitely will. I take it emissaries are bad. Most darkspawn are mindless killing machines, connected by the blight. But emissaries are intelligent and use magic.
meant to be shrieks. I thought you'd be used to all kinds of dark spawn. Well, everyone's got their favorites. to an exiled dwarf. He was experimenting with Rolyria. strange about it. Looks like our construction, but... Hmm. It's missing gears. We have to find them. It's our only way through. the touch. Strange. I don't recognize that metal. But we should only need one more. enough of these odd gears. Let's head back to the door. Thank you. 
Ren, I'm sorry about Bernat. You served with him a long time. <sighs> it was quick. And Bernat returned to the stone with honor. We should all be so lucky. It's all right to be upset. I'm too old to be upset. Did that messenger who came through camp have any news about Orzammar? The food shortage. More riots. There's unrest from Dust Town to the Diamond Quarters. <laughs> Can't have the Deep Lords going hungry. I made sure your mother and brother are safe. It was necessary. You're welcome. such madness. any gears we find. We may need more. And if we don't, I want to study them. Whatever they're made of wasn't mine down here.
Another strange door. Who put these here? And why? This one uses a different kind of gear from the others. We don't have to open it. My stone sense leads the other way. Though I am curious to see the other side. You always are. on the ground. <laughs> Surprised me too. This Grey Warden had a map. Could be important.
Darkspawn like you've been doing it your whole life, Inquisitor. He means that as a compliment. You're famous. Even down here. Is it true you killed a dragon? You haven't lived till you felt their wings pulling you in. I can't even imagine. Tell me about their teeth. I've heard they don't all breathe fire, and their scales have different colors and patterns. Careful, Ren. I believe you're drooling.
Look at that, Ren. Could this be Tighedron? Darkspawn all over it. You can see their torches. Even Darkspawn appreciate a little mood lighting. We're getting close to something. Aye. The fight of our lives. Fear the killing blow. We rest in the stone and pass our strength back to her. That's our reward. But the darkspawn defiled these soldiers. They can't return to the stone. They'd only weaken her. There must be some way to lay them to rest with honor. We can burn the remains. No. Uh, so all we can do. Mouth closed when fighting dark spawn. The blood's poison.
lost a good soldier in the roads once. She fell down a hole. Found her three days later. He loves this story. She spent a whole day telling us all the strange things she saw while lost. A golden longboat floating in the air. Packs of hairless children hunting nugs. A giant skeleton on a throne. Was it true? <laughs> Never found out. She woke up the next day. Couldn't remember any of it. Time to look around.
few years back. Left a nasty scar. How'd you get away? Kicked her with the other leg. <laughs> Seriously, keep your guard up. They'll use your tongue as jewelry. I'll remember that. I've heard encouraging things about your progress topside. That you're bringing order to the chaos. That's what they tell me. We could use that down here. down here for centuries. I wonder if anything's left. <laughs> These goods are amazingly well preserved.
I heard the hero of Ferelden came down here during the Blight. Cardall met the Warden, but I never had the pleasure. Do you often see Grey Wardens? From time to time. They're a good bunch. Tough in a fight. Fearless. Any Warden would say the same about the Legion. were inconclusive. to go deeper. Only way down from here is falling. Not keen on that. I'd also like to avoid falling if we're counting votes. There has to be another way.
that expects to be
That's the last of those, Darkspawn. Legion's in your debt, Inquisitor. Look at this, Ren. It's ancient. Maybe a thousand years old. Any idea who built it or why? This Tig is on top of a Lyrium mine. According to the memories, the mine was destroyed by some unexplained disaster. The miners must have used this lift to reach the lower levels. I'm starting to see a trend. If there is a titan causing earthquakes, it's down there. I found this book with the emissary. The pages are mostly ruined, but a few are readable. See this line? I awoke to the singing stone. Our kingdom trembled at the titan's hymn. That reference to singing stone. I've been told that raw lyrium has a sound. A hum. The mining cast follows it to find lyrium veins. They say it's the stone calling to them. Perhaps it wasn't chance that the Quakes destroyed Lyrium mines. Is it possible the Darkspawn or their emissary could also hear the song? The stone would never call to those vile things. But that doesn't mean they can't hear her. Darkspawn live and die by the Blight. They don't care for much else. I didn't realize you knew so much about Darkspawn motives. Not everything's a mystery, Volta. Some things are exactly as they appear. And some things are not. If similar quakes happened then, the people who lived here may have found a way to stop them. 
I see no solution in the text, but it's practically dust. We're lucky any words survived. <laughs> Half a bowl. Just what we needed. Perhaps this will change your mind. Look here. It's the royal seal of Orsic Garal. King Orsic Garal? That book belonged to a paragon? Maybe you are onto something, Volta. Of course you'd take a dead man's word over mine. Always the traditionalist. Hey, challenging tradition lost you a cushy position in Orzammar. Does a king's book mean that much to you, Ren? Paragons are the best of our people. They don't hand that title out to just anyone. Not even a king. Knowing it was Garal's book from the start would have saved us an argument. As if you'd ever avoid an argument. What does he mean, you lost your position? I thought you were a Shaper. Not all Shapers have the same duties. Mine were... adjusted. When my superiors ordered me to remove an official record from the memories, I declined. We decided it would be best if I served the Shaper it here, finding history instead of recording it. That record must have been important, to risk your position over it. It was trivial, actually. A cousin of King Haramont discovered that her husband's ancestor had Carter connections. But the truth is the truth, no matter how political it may be. The Shaper it can erase official records on the memories permanent. Sometimes erasing records is standard procedure. If a dwarf becomes castless, they're struck from the memories. But I was asked to change a fact that someone important merely found inconvenient. Understandable. Yesterday's all the rage is today's embarrassment. If the Shaperit is willing to erase memories, what would prevent them from covering up the existence of Titans? Why would they do that? Because someone in power demanded it. It takes courage to challenge authority. <laughs> I suppose you would know. Some believe the past is what we make it. But we gain nothing from ignoring mistakes. I'm sorry I brought it up. The earthquakes are what matters. I don't know where this lift leads, but we're about to find out the hard way. Get ready.
can feel it now. The blight. It's spreading. Yes. It's gonna hurt. Just remember, you're already dead. Drink some ale. It will help. Wish the bastard had run me through. 